Prosecutor Scott Patterson went frame by frame through surveillance footage that shows Steve Snively arrive at Yosef Al Hasnawi's side, kneel down, and then get back up again. In total, Snively tended to the 19 year old for 19 seconds. It was not possible that in so little time, Snively managed to speak to his patient, get an accurate pulse rate, and palpate his abdomen around the wound near his belly button, as he wrote in his report and testified. I suggest you are lying to this court, Patterson said. Snively, seen here wearing a hat outside court earlier in the trial, said he was just good at multitasking. But there were other mistakes in his report, including what he was told by a witness and when. The Crown pointed out that there was blood on Al Hasnawi's sweater. The sweater paramedics cut off him in the ambulance. They didn't see the blood. Nor, they say, did they see the blood spattering Al Hasnawi's shoes, even more apparent than the sweater. The blood should have warned paramedics that their patient's wound was not superficial. In fact, Al Hasnawi had been bleeding internally the entire time paramedics fumbled with getting him into the stretcher, completing unnecessary tests, and bringing him to the wrong hospital, the prosecutor said today. Although we've obscured Al Hasnawi in this footage, it shows his shoes were off when he arrived at hospital. I didn't take the shoes off, sir, Snively testified. Maybe Al Hasnawi kicked the shoes off himself while thrashing in the ambulance, Snively said. And those stains? It could be hot sauce or anything else, Snively said. The final witness in this trial begins to testify Monday. He's a medical expert called by Christopher Marchant's lawyer. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.